What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Brown Panda here. You know I like binoculars, like taking a look out there and seeing what's out there. Hey, got this really compact set of binoculars here, and it's a, it says compact, field of view, 65 degrees. It says 8, 10, uh, 12, zoom. And the objective lens is 25 millimeters. Wish I knew what any of that meant. But uh, hey, thought I would try it out. Comes in a nice little polyester patch pouch here and a loop here for putting on your belt. Take it bird watching. Bird watching. And then watch your bag. There we go. Ooh, nice compact. Ooh, really grippy. These are really, you can feel these. At first you'd be like, ooh, these are uncomfortable, but they are super grippy. So if it is wet out there, uh, dewy, moist, humid, you don't have to worry about these things slipping out of your hands. Little pyramidal tracks on there um, to uh, to grip it all the way around. All right, so what you have is a loop here for, for lanyards, I think. You have a um, 10X by 25 millimeter wide angle viewing. And um, looks like we've got a focus ring right here. The eyepieces, looks like you can make some adjustments here to make sure that they are even. Nice soft rubber around the eyepieces. And then on the business end, you can see right there, uh, they do seem to articulate pretty well here. So you should be able to get a nice fit on your eyes regardless of your pupillary distance. Now, we just need to see what these things look like uh, outside and see if we can see anything. Let's try it. All right, guys, what's up? Outside, using the binoculars. I know it's always a little janky to hold my phone up just to the binoculars, but it's always a little hard to figure out how to uh, get uh, video using um, kind of a telescopic device. These binoculars are pretty nice, though. I was looking through them, uh, adjusting the focus to my eyes. And for this distance, man, um, I kind of was dialing it in, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, that stop sign is kind of the, the target that I had there, but it uh, looks great. I'm going to just kind of, you know, I know there's shims shaking, and that's because I'm holding the camera with one hand and the binoculars in the other, so it's not a perfect alignment here. But I think, you know, you can see there a lot of detail um, you know, you can see those garbage cans, that car parked on the road, uh, the street signs, what have you, um, even the individual leaves on the tree. Now I'm just going to um, drop the binoculars here and just kind of show you um, how far away we are from that stuff. So boom, you can see there, now this is, now it's adjusting back to um, where I'm actually standing, way over here. And that's a pretty big difference, right? So these little tiny binoculars are really actually, I think, pretty powerful and a pretty good value. You know, they're they're nice and compact. They come in that little uh, bag so that you can take them with you wherever you go. And then when you want to do your little bird watching, spying, whatever, you can throw them up here and get a really nice picture. So uh, really portable. I like the fact that um, they're very, very useful, very powerful, and a really compact size. That's kind of what really what makes them most usable. I'll put a link to them in the description. They're not uh, expensive, so you can pick up a pair of these when you want to go out um, bird watching, spying, hunting, viewing. Peter Von Panda out.